Dear blockchain and crypto trader and community, welcome to this weekly news update provided by t -Rock. And this is what we're going to talk about today. First of all, Facebook will release a stablecoin. And Facebook as well revises policy on blockchain ads. We will head over to Facebook could double or triple the crypto users. And we will talk about that Binance got hacked. And last but not least, the Belarusian exchange offers government bonds and the Malta's registry of companies is set up to run on blockchain. Now if we can see over here, Facebook may announce Facebook coin stablecoin in Q3, says anonymous sources. And what he's telling that the social networking giant Facebook is hiring PayPal stuff ahead of its Elite cryptocurrency launch. And this interesting due to there are still rumors over its planned entry into blockchain and payments within Facebook and for all the users. And so they built a dedicated blockchain team last year and they are working around this blockchain transformation for Facebook and all this stuff. And what we will see over here is that there are as well talked with Visa and MasterCard surrounding the venture. So basically that if there is a huge transaction that they can help and to do all this for Facebook. And to underline this, Facebook as well revises the policy on blockchain ads. How you may know, Facebook had a ban on all crypto ads due to that there's a lot of scam, a lot of fraud in this market, so we don't want to have this on our platform. And now they revise all the policy, and this is as well another act that they are about to launch something soon due to they said that the stated purpose of such restrictions is to prevent Facebook users from falling prey to misleading advertisements. How I said there was a lot of fraud so Facebook had a ban on this and advertisers wish to promote a specific product such as particular cryptocurrency or crypto exchange or mining software or hardware will have to undergo a real hard background screening which include the following and then they're saying like licenses they have or whether they are traded on a public stock exchange or even not or if there's a relevant public background it will be not easy to have a crypto advertisement on Facebook but still now it's open again and people can use this and when they're having a public project, they can as well put them on Facebook with their ads. But all in all, the change from Facebook shows us that there's definitely something going on due to Facebook is the owner of Instagram and WhatsApp as well. And there are rumors that WhatsApp will have something like a blockchain-based coin too that you can send money via WhatsApp. Last but not least, to finish this huge Facebook news. Blockchain capital partner Spencer Boger said Facebook could double or triple the crypto users and he's saying that due to Facebook is such a huge platform and such a huge networking platform that it's like being on the internet so people can spin out and they can start owning Bitcoin. They can start owning Tether or Ether, whatever they want to have and some percentage of the user's base is likely to do so. And again, I think that's going to be a dramatic catalyst. Due to Facebook is such a huge platform that even if just a few percent start to evaluate and start to go into this market, this can be a huge, huge impact on the market. And Bogo then stated that the more important thing is that Facebook initiative lit a fire in the pants of every major fintech and financial institution in the US. This is very exciting. Due to for this reason, he explained, a lot of the institutions which approach the space with caution will look at Facebook example as an incentive to start acting. So when this will be successful and Facebook as one of the most valuable companies in the world will have something that is really good or that is working out pretty well, they will start to do something similar. And so this news was very huge for the market and a lot of people are now very interested in what will happen. And you should definitely 
have your eyes and ears open to see what will happen from Facebook. Let's talk about something that is not so cool and something that always happen in this market from time to time. This time it was even worse due to there was a hack on Binance and Binance is one of the most well-known and best crypto exchanges you can have in this moment on this market and hack it withdraw 7000 BTC from Binance to the fact or to due to this Binance said that Hackers employed a variety of tactics, including phishing and viruses, to obtain a large number of 2FA codes and API keys in addition to other information. And according to the exchange, there was one affected transaction wherein hackers were able to withdraw 7,000 BTC. So they are worth $40 million. And how you can see between these lines, they just said there was one huge transaction which was affected being mailed and viruses on the computers of the users. So it's very, very important for you to always check if you are really on the Binance side. Never give your password, never give your 2FA to someone else and always make sure that you're re on the real, real Binance side due to there will be a green lock next to the URL if you're on the right side. And if you think something that you should download from Binance or whatever, you're not on the side. So basically, if you're playing safe, you're not affected on this due to if you're playing safe there could no virus or phishing be on your account this is what always shows up that this market is still still small and that we still have to work a lot in this market to have a stable and unhackable system that everyone can put money in as well as institutions if you think about institution would lose money due to hack they would definitely stop the project and a lot of money would be gone out of the market. A Binance CEO, Shangpeng Zhao, stated that the bitcoins were withdrawn from its hot wallets, which contain only 2% of the exchange total bitcoin holdings. So all in all, you can see the cold stored BTCs are 98% of this whole exchange and here you can see again that this was very very dramatic that it's possible to hack Binance but the funds are all safe due to Binance has its own secure asset funds for you this to save you to cover the incident so all in all you can see always play safe but Binance is so large or huge that they can easily have these funds backed by their own fund now let's talk about the russian exchange to offer tokenized government bonds and here you can easily see how the blockchain is going through all the countries and always deeper in our daily life and they want to have a tokenized bond which they can have one thousand dollar per token and the token will present one bond and there will be initially be 252 bonds with a further two percent per annum yield introduced to the exchange and here you can see they want to start something they want to have it on the legal side and they just will show what is possible and how will this affect the market and co-founder of currency.com Victor Pokenpayer said all this was made possible by the progressive decree number eight on the development of a digital economy that was Refied in Belarus in 2018, affirming the country's commitment to playing a big role in the next chapter of the technological revolution. And here you can see that some governments are open-minded and they can see the future and what will happen next. So they just start early to see what is playing out good and what is maybe a waste of time. But here you can see again, something is working out really good. Last but not least, Malta's registry of companies set to run on blockchain-based system. Again, something that made work very, very easy. And again, another step to have blockchain in our daily life. It's not about a defined crypto pair in our daily life, but the technology behind this in our daily life. And through an intensive investment in IT, the registry of companies will be more efficient and will lessen unnecessary bureaucratic procedures. It will be run by a system which will handle all the processes performed by the registry of companies. The new system will make possible the provision of new services which 
with the present system not being provided, bringing the agency the first in the world to be run on a blockchain-based system. And how you can see over here, work is made easy, it's secured, you can't change it, less bureaucratic. All in all, a great thing. Malta is showing again that they are really to put something forward and quite a good news and quite a good week. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I would be happy if you could like, comment or share this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly news update provided by T-Rox.